Oh, very good morning and Om Shanti to you. Welcome back to your Kali Blessing. Today is 2nd of June and we are here at Shirbury Park taking different angles, different views and beautiful flowers behind us. And like these flowers, God also wants us to become like a beautiful flower. He wants us to use godly habits or God-taught habits so that we become powerful, successful and we make sure that everything in the world becomes better. So God says over here in the blessing, May you make your godly sanskars fruitful by using them and become embodiments of success. What does that mean? So God says the children who use their godly sanskars in the task finish their waste thoughts automatically. Godly sanskars could be, for an example, as we've learned in previous blessings too, that don't look at anything negative in anybody. Have good wishes for everyone and anyone irrespective of which religion which caste which creed which sect which language are they from because everybody is a soul and we are soul conscious beings so god looks us as a soul we also look at other people as a soul that is the purest sanskar which we can have then god says to make something fruitful means to save it <coughs> or increase it it shouldn't be that you continue to use your old sanskars old sanskars is what thinking waste thoughts, thinking impure thoughts, having worry, having concerns, have, being stressful, thinking negative about the self, instead of using self-respectful affirmations which God teaches us in Brahma Kumaris. Those are old sanskars which drain us out and godly sanskars habits, they increase the battery power of the soul. So God says, godly sanskars, don't put them in your locker and don't use the old sanskars. So if you keep your godly sanskars in the locker of your intellect, what will happen? We use, let's say you buy something new and you don't use it, you keep it in the locker or you keep it in the cupboard and you start using your old things. And the time comes that you forget that you bought something. What happens? You end up not using it. It goes for a waste. God then says, similarly, many of you have the habit of keeping good things in your cupboards and your money in banks. You keep it safe, you keep it protected, but you never use it for a good purpose. So if you don't use money for a good purpose, if a businessman doesn't invest the money in the right place, what happens? It doesn't multiply. Similarly over here, our habits, which we learn in Brahma Kumaris, God changes us from a common human being into a divine human being. So those divine habits have to be used and not just kept separately. It doesn't mean that when you are at home, you are using old habits and when you go to the Brahma Kumari's center or the school, you behave in a divine way. But when you're in your job or in your office, you use your old habits of getting angry, getting frustrated, getting jealous. But when you're in the center, when you're in the Brahma Kumari's organization center, you are acting very divine, very polite. No, God says don't do that. Don't create duality in your life. Don't use the old sanskars in a separate place and the new sanskars in a separate place. Do not do that here. Here you have to make everything worthwhile with your thoughts, words and powerful attitude. So thoughts also have to be in alignment, words also have to be in alignment and the attitude also have to be in alignment with God. For who? For our own peace of mind, for our own happiness, for our own contentment. We are not doing it for anybody else. It's We are doing it for ourselves. That is what the attitude has to change. Because some people say that person got angry with me, why shouldn't I reply back? Well, that's for your own peace of mind. You might win over that small victory, but in the long run, you'll be incurring loss because you'll be getting instead of blessings, you'll be getting curses from that person. That person will be thinking ill of you. And also your anger which you create, frustration which you create, you'll be in that complete circle which you won't be com coming out of easily. And you'll be thinking those impure thoughts leading to your own lack of peace of mind your own loss of happiness. So don't do it for yourself. Think in the long term. So God then says, and you will then become an embodiment of success. Success in relationships, success in friendships, and success in many other things. So God wants us to become that divine being. How do we do that? Is what we learn in Brahma Kumaris. You too can come and learn the same thing. With this, Om Shanti.